deep in the shadow, a high walled garden. And all that garden was choked with brine and brambles. There grew the most beautiful flowers in the world. Every day and every night, the wife would ask her husband to bring her just one of these beautiful flowers. Every day and every night, the husband would refuse until one day he'd take his wife's sadness and Together, they crept into the garden. They crept through the briar and the brambles and took just one of the flowers. But as he offered it to his wife, there came a crack, a flash of lightning. There in the garden appeared a wicked woman. What are you doing, stealing from my garden? The couple fell to their knees and begged for mercy. The witch was prepared to let them go on one condition. You will bring your firstborn child to me. Well, days turned to weeks, turned to months, and one day the wife came to her husband and told him that she was pregnant. She was going to have a baby. The husband wept with sadness. But of course, the first time he held his newborn daughter in his arms, there came a knocking at the door. Can you guess who it was? Why, of course, it was the wicked. Come to get what she had been promised. I have come for what is rightfully mine. The husband had no choice but to give his newborn daughter, who he had named Rapunzel, to the witch. Rapunzel was a very pretty girl, yeah. but the wicked witch was jealous. And on Rapunzel's sixth birthday, the witch took her deep into the enchanted forest and locked her in the highest room of a tall tower with no door or stairs. Every day the witch would visit the tower and call to Rapunzel. Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair. Do you think you could call that with me? First of all, show me your witchy fingers. <laughs> And show me your wicked witchy faces. <laughs> now let me hear your wicked witchy laugh. <laughs> Ready, after three, Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair. Here we go. One, two, three. Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair. Sure enough, Rapunzel would let down her long, flowing hair, and the witch would climb up, 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 up to the highest room of that tall tower. And so the years passed, until one day a handsome prince was out riding in the forest, and he heard the most beautiful sound. Was it the sound of a lonely couple crying? Or was it the sound of a wicked witch laughing? <laughs> no. Was it the sound of Rapunzel singing? Why, of course. The prince followed the sound of the singing until he came in sight of that tall tower. And there, sitting in the window, was a very pretty girl. The prince fell deeply in love with her, but at that moment, can you imagine what she called up to Rapunzel? Can you call it with me? Remember, your witchy fingers, your witchy faces, and your witchy laugh. After three, one, two, three. Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair. And sure enough, Rapunzel let down her long flowing hair and up, 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 the witch climbed the 
I has room. Now, what's the witch had gone? The prince? Can you imagine what he called to and Rapunzel? Before we do it, show me that you're a prince. Put your nose in the air. I like your chest. One hand behind your back and maybe give a little wave, a little chuckle. <laughs> Can you chuckle with me? <laughs> so after three, let's call Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair. And what is the witch this time? One, two, three. Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair. And sure enough, Rapunzel let down her long, flowing hair. And the prince climbed. Up, up, highest room, of that tall. Now, imagine Rapunzel's surprise that instead of a wicked witch, there stood a handsome prince. The pair fell in love. They decided that a plan had to be formed to help Rapunzel take the tower. Every day, the prince would come and bring with him a strand of silk with which Rapunzel would build a ladder to escape the tall tower. One day, as usual, the prince approached the tower and called to his princess, can you call with me? But remember that you are a handsome prince. Put your nose in the air, puff out your chest, one hand behind your back and a little chuckle. Ho, 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 ho. Ready? After three, two, Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair. And as usual, Rapunzel let down her long, flowing hair. And as usual, the prince climbed up, 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 up to the highest room of that But imagine the prince's surprise when Rapunzel wasn't there. Instead, sitting in the middle of that room was, well, I'm sure you can imagine who it was. It was the wicked witch. You see, the witch had learned of the prince and Rapunzel's plan, and in her anger, she had cut off Rapunzel's hair and banished her to another part. <laughs> Love the witch. Looking for someone? Well, you will never see Rapunzel ever. Again, the witch pushed the prince through the open window. Down, down, down he fell toward the hard ground, the briar and brambles. The ground bruised his body, and the brambles blinded lies. The prince wandered lost in the enchanted forest for what seemed like days until he heard. The most beautiful sound. Was it the sound of a lonely couple crying? Was it the sound of a wicked witch laughing? <laughs> no. It was the sound of Rapunzel singing. And of course, the prince followed the sound of the singing until he and Rapunzel were reunited. They embraced, and as they hugged, Rapunzel wept. And where her tears fell on the prince's eyes, they mended his blindness. The prince and Rapunzel escaped the forest and went back to the prince's castle, where they were married and lived happily ever after.